the great escape from Alcatraz. Brinkley Morris had spent his entire lifetime uh, studying prison systems before his arrival on Alcatraz. From when he was young to his teens, Morris was constantly shuffled, shuffled from one foster home to another and was convicted of his very first crime at the youthful age of 13. By the time he had reached his later teens, Morris's criminal record would include a multitude of crimes, ranging from narcotic possessions to armed robbery. And he would, and he had become a professional inhabitant of the, uh, the correctional system. Morris's acquaintances in The Great Escape had also, had, were also well acquainted with the a world of organized crime. Two brothers, John and Clarence England, they were sentenced to Alcatraz for, for an attempted bank robbery. And they had met Morris earlier in a different penitentiary in, uh, in Atlanta. And so those two were sent away to Alcatraz. In Alcatraz, they met another inmate named uh, Alan West who was spending his second term in Alcatraz. He had been described as a rough, arrogant criminal, and um, he was also let in on this scheme. He had adjacent rooms with Morris, and so did the brothers with each other. Their plan involved an elaborate, uh, an elaborate scheme and many multiple uh, ingredients and tools in which they would escape. Uh, artificial real-life dummy heads, uh, a boat created from multiple coat racks, uh, coat racks and coats stolen and some, uh, some, uh, some donated. Now, they, by the time they had gone into their cells, they, more, Morris and the England brothers already had dug a six by nine inch uh, square in their cell block. This was a ventilator grill that had pipings to an escape pod. They assigned each, each person a certain task. Alan would create the paddles for the boat and as well as uh, uh, dummy heads. The England brothers also helped with the dummy heads and they even gave them nicknames of Oink and Oscar. Now, after months of preparation, Morris decided that the ventilator grills were loosened enough to, for them to make the escape. However, Alan had fallen behind. He had not dug his ventilator grill. So while the two brothers, the England brothers and Morris escaped their cell, they had no choice but to leave West behind. So then they escaped. They climbed through 10 feet of plumbing and pipes and 30, 100 feet of uh, the top of the prison, and then they would escape in the nearby shower station. This was the last anyone saw of the England brothers and Morris. Now, whether they truly escaped the island or not, that is unknown. But to this day, no one has ever escaped Alcatraz.